What's going on guys, it's Chalky here and I'm back with uh, something slightly different for you guys. Um, I was looking through uh, some games, that, um, well some games that are coming out for the near future and what you get with Xbox Gold is um, you get two free games now that you get to download and uh, Hand of Fate was one of them. I've never seen this game before, it's been out for about a year, did some research on it and apparently it got some really good reviews so I thought why not do the story mode and um, play through it for you guys? It, depending on how long it is, I will be splitting it up uh, into different episodes. But uh, here we have the opening scene, it looks like. You have passed the 13 gates. And you come to my table to play the game of life and death. Your stake is wagered. I refuse none who come here. Yet, I say. Right, yeah, I did read about it. They did mention something about cards. It's been some time since you last sat at the table. Oh, is it now? Let us begin again. Okay. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, start. The game begins. All right. One lives and one dies. Let us see what you are made of. Okay, continue. Here is the first member of my court, the Jack of Dust. Twelve in all must fall before you may challenge me. Okay. Right, Jack of Dust. The bandit leader is stronger and faster than most bandits encountered. He can become enraged, making powerful unlockable attacks. Um, oh, sorry, unblockable attacks. He also inspires his followers to steal gold on each hit. In the ruins of an ancient temple among the eternally shifting sand dunes lives the mysterious leader of the desert bandits. Infamous for his reign of terror over any spice caravans that dare take their chances traveling through his domain he rules as a king over the barren lands right so i'm guessing this is the first guy the first boss i heard there's 13 bosses i think this is the, so i'm guessing this is the first boss we're gonna have to face what the fuck are we playing fucking Yu-Gi-Oh or something what's going on here let the cards fall where they may what the fuck we begin uh, uh, okay uh, choose my next card Right, so. Okay, so I choose that card. Twisted Canyon. That first moment, that glinting weapon, the call to action, to adventure. Truly, there is nothing like it. Uh, what, what the fuck are you want about, you crazy old man? Twisted Cannon? What, what does that do? Right. <sighs> you see a whipping. Oh, I can't speak English. You see a weapon glinting in the sunlight. Lying next to a skeleton at the bottom of the canyon. Yes, I do, yeah. The walls of the canyon are covered in thick vines, perfect for climbing. Climb down and retrieve. Climb down and retrieve the weapon. Choose from these options. Oh, oh fuck off, it's like a random pick. Uh, right, anyway, Fuck it. Boys, we're fucking in. Climb down to retrieve the weapon very carefully. You make your way to the bottom of the canyon. What the fuck is this? Draw weapon card. What the hell is going on? Right, axe. Right, damage 25. During combat, press X button and swing your axe. Turn. Okay. A moment to savor. That will make you much more effective. What the fuck? There's a, there's a fucking spider in your books, mate. Fair Merith. I'm not surprised to find that this encounter remains vivid in your memories. Did he just say Fair Merith? Her head looks like a fucking rotting potato. <sighs> One day in a shady forest you encounter an elf maiden. She stops to greet you. I am Merith of the forest folk. My people have long... That's right. Let's try and do this in an elf voice. I am Merith of the forest folk. My people have long helped the mortals of this realm. What boon would you ask of me? Right. <clears throat> Longer life? Alright, so I'm guessing we get one of these, like a fucking genie three wishes sort of thing. Uh, supplies. I could have wished for longer life, but ask for supplies. 
This bread will sustain you for many days. The dealer draws you two food gain cards. Okay, that's a I'm sure you're grateful for that. Uh, I don't know what's going on, mate, but I'm sure I am. Uh, the elders of your kind... I... Uh, no, not your kind. The elders of our kind often say that we must... Re... Retre... Retreat? Paths? Retread? Retread paths we once took in order to gain an advantage on the present. Farewell, mortal. Bye then. See you later. Mr. Lionel. A fan of Fucking Messi's in this game. Here, I'll make an exception. Lionel, mister. I was enjoying your evening meal at the local tavern, a strange old man takes the seat next to yours. He taps your shoulder quite painfully with his wooden staff to get your attention, and you notice that he appears to be a goblin, poorly disguised as a human. That is a pretty, like, that's like a joke shop sort of moustache he's got on there, it's a bit ridiculous. His wizened face grins at you with a hint of madness. My name is Mr. Lionel. If you give me what I need, boy... I will conjure up your heart's desire with this wizarding wand of my own creation. This geezer sounds like a load of shit. He cackles uncontrollably for a few moments and sits patiently waiting for your answer. I think he's talking absolute shit. Ask him what he needs. Need, I need to help you. Has his stuff on the ground and a shield materializes at your feet. There you go, old bean. <laughs> old bean, fucking dick. He smiles a warm grin that reveals all his chipped and yellow teeth. Your face reminds me of my son. I haven't met you before, have I? Draw one shield card. This is like... I honestly... Oh, I skipped something. Fuck. Can I not go back to it? Weapons do this allow the hero to counter their foe's attacks. Look for the green attack indicators above foes. Press Y button to counter. You can now reflect your opponent's ranged attacks using your shield. Make good use of this skill if you wish to survive. I, I will be trying my best, mate. Honestly, I will. Right. And then we've got our final card. Stairs. Down once more. Seeking the heart of it all. Make the fucking playing cards, mate. You have discovered the exit to this area. Take this, fucking just take this. As you embark upon the next leg of your adventure. This is what I was looking for. You show some aptitude for the game. Ma what? I just got an achievement. Perhaps this will not be Squire, as boring, complete the I first think. level of a play session without taking any damage. Your journey is well. I don't know what I'm doing. Right, a winding trail. Suddenly a tree falls across your path, blocking the way ahead. The dealer draws you one monster card. What, you some sort of cunt? What the fuck are you doing? Weapons bristle from the trees around you, their wielder's faces obscured by the undergrowth. Give us all your gold, or die! Attack the cowardly band for daring to threaten you. Yeah, I'm gonna attack this motherfucker. Who the fuck does he think he is? He ain't gonna take none of my money. You shout a battle cry and raise your weapon. The battle begins. Do I actually get to do stuff? Are we actually getting to fucking do some shit? Why are the cards still on my screen? Okay. Oh, mate, here we go, here we go, here we go, right. Right, I'm... I'm do I get to control my gun? Now counter your opponent's attack. Oh, here we go. Counter button when you see the flashing indicator. Stun, dodge, roll, attack, move, counter. Okay, seems pretty simple. Oh god, this is so bad. Oh mate, these geezers are getting fucking annihilated, mate. Mate, I just wrecked the shit out of them too. Mate, they had no chance. They had absolutely no chance. I'm, 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 a, I'm a lord. Yeah, what do you think of that, old man? The dealer draws you two game cards. 
Okay, that's a equipment, shield. I cannot expect you to get by without some protection. Uh, uh, like, okay, thank you, really? I guess. Is that what you're going to do? But I, I don't even know what I did. I don't even know what I did. You searched the bodies for loot, right, okay. So I've searched the bodies for loot, right, there we go. Travelling Tinker. In a shady grove off the beaten trail, you find a travelling merchant looking to trade with wandering adventurers. Tinkers sell items of all descriptions. Oh, fuck it, we'll have a look at what he's got. Greetings, wise traveller. I have much to offer you. Right, what's he gonna? What's he? What's he got? What's he got that we can purchase? You why you've been collecting all that gold? You now have your answer. We're starting to get into the meat of the game now. The back and forth between resources and rewards. Okay, so let's have a look at some items here. Shield, healing, axe. A peasant's weapon, but effective nonetheless. <laughs> all right, mate. Fucking hell. I have insufficient. Increasing How much gold do I have? Sort of magic I've got 25 gold, right. All you need is a channel for power, and it's simple enough. Okay, so. Can I buy food? I've already got game cards. Let's see if we can sell something. So, this is my good shield. My shield protects. I have massive damage migration. I don't know which one's better. So if I sell that, so sell it. So now I've got 28 gold, right. Okay. I don't, I don't know what was the point in that, giving it to me at a point where I can buy anything decent. And we're back to choosing cards again, right. Ambush. What did you think would happen with a card called Ambush, eh? That I'd get ambushed. A slight rustling, rustling behind you is all the warning you get that your life is in grave danger. Draw one monster card. Right, let's fucking do this. Let's fucking do this. Come on. I'm fucking ready for you. Wherever the fuck you are, I'm ready for you. Skip this shit. We're getting down to business. What, what, fucking, what, what, what? Oh, mate, you've got no clue. Oh, mate, you've got no clue what's going on. I don't have any clue what's going on. Oh, man, that's bad. Boom. Mate. I just annihilated that geezer. While searching the area for anything worth salvaging, you realise that one of your opponents is only pretending to be dead. Yeah, I want to sneak up and kill that motherfucker. Ah, oh, there we go. Odds on it giving me a failure no matter what I pick. Fucking do it. You have reached my first champion. A good man, driven to madness by a war that took all from him. Wife and child, kith and kin. From such dark and brittle iron, I forge my tools. Now we see your metal. Right. Looks like we're fighting the first boss. This token will unlock more cards if you can defeat this encounter. <clears throat> right. Here we go. Looks like this is the first boss we're going to be fighting. Jack of the Dust. <laughs> Why does he look like a missing member of the fucking village people? What the fuck? He's got minions? Some enemy attacks cannot be blocked or countered. Get out of the way or stop them with your own counter. Oh, mate, these kids have no idea what's going on. Oh, this is bad, this is bad. Oh, I need to learn to block more.
Oh, mate, I'm going off in this motherfucker. Oh, right, I'm down to 76 health. Right, this is definitely harder. You can't. Right, we're going out. We're going out, he's nearly gone, he's nearly gone. Oh, mate, we're at 55 health, this is bad. Oh man, this is bad, this is bad, this is bad. Right, we've just got... Oh, mate. Right, that was a bit shaky. I... It, was a, it was a little bit shaky, but we got there in the end. That was... Wasn't really the hardest of fights. Come into the worms with him. Perhaps there is peace for him in the grave, poor soul. Right. One champion has been sent to the cabinet. Yet we are only at the start of our road. You will face eleven more opponents who will test your strength, your memories, and your resolve. If you fall at the first hurdle, none reach the last. Right. We have wagered, and you have won. You may claim your rewards, yet I will also claim mine. As you improve, so do I. Right. Balance must be. Retained. Okay then. Right. So we got this token thing we're gonna open up. As a rule for defeating the bandit jack, you receive these new cards. Jack of Skulls. Dead King's Hall. Uh local peasant. <laughs> uh, the Devil's Choice. River. And Captain of the Guards. Alright, so add those to my pile. Oh, look, we got something else. As a reward for defeating Banjo, you receive these new cards. Right. Medium Armor. Chains of Rage. Uh, Mercenary Contract. Medium Armor. Uh, Fortitude's Breath. And Desperate Measures. Alright. I think we've got one more to open. For defeating Jack, I will give you new challenges. Bandit attack, maze of traps, and goblins. So I'm guessing they're like kind of like those ambush colours. Alright. I think we're going to leave the first episode there. Um, if you guys liked uh, the video, obviously leave a like down below. Subscribe if you're new around here. Um, and we, I will see you when we go on to face boss number two. See ya.